F, and these are my notes to the Fortress of Bookatoo. To be or not to be, that is the question. And it's also the dilemma, because the impossibility of certainty in one's decisions can make taking action tough for some people. People like Hamlet. William Shakespeare's play tells a tale of revenge, filial duty, and devotion. Or as I like to call it, daddy issues. Hi-yo! And it begins on a cold night in Denmark's Elsinore Castle when Hamlet's trusted friend Horatio and some guards see a... g g g ghost Zoinks! Like, it's the dead king! I gotta tell Hamlet! But the philosophical and complicated yet socially popular young prince of Denmark is busy fuming at his uncle, who married his mom two days after his father's death. Denmark is threatened by King Fortinbras of Norway! We cannot afford excessive grief! So turn that frown upside down! He's your brother-in-law! Gross! Hamlet suspects that they conspired to kill his father, and he even contemplates suicide. Ah, but then I go to hell, because I'm a Christian. His hopes are lifted when he hears about the ghost. Uh? Now the king's pompous and conniving right-hand man, Polonius, has a daughter, who has been dating Hamlet, much to the dismay of her brother. Princes can't choose their own wives, so don't let Hamlet have his way with you. Don't let him have his way with you either. You must spurn his royal slumming. <laughs> Meanwhile, Hamlet's doing some ghost hunting. Oh, God, what's that? Ooh. Dad! Hamlet, wait. We don't know if that ghost is from heaven or hell. Uh, forget it. The ghost explains that he's stuck in purgatory. And you must avenge my death. You got it, Pops. Claudius seduced your mom and poured poison in my ear while I slept. <gasps> Remember me, me, me. Don't tell anyone, but in order to help me decide if I should kill my uncle, I'm going to pretend to be crazy so no one suspects that I'm spying on him and my mom. Sure, that's one way to go. Dad, Hamlet's gone bananas. Oh. I'll tell the king. <laughs> but in order to find out if Hamlet is on to him, the king is already asking Hamlet's schoolmates to act as spies. Okay. okay. Hamlet is mad because I forbid my daughter from dating him. But to be sure, I propose we spy on them, too. <laughs> Hamlet is suspicious of his friend's intentions, but he lights up when they tell him that the theater is in town. Hey, Eat New York. Eat New York. Oh, awesome! Do this play! I made a few personal adjustments that I think Claudius will find very interesting. But Claudius is also fishing for clues to see if Hamlet is on to him. To be or not to be, that's the question, right? I mean, if you think about it... Hamlet! I never loved you! Get me to a nunnery! <laughs> Claudius doubts that love has ruined Hamlet's mind, so Polonius suggests more spying. And the play Hamlet has renamed The Mousetrap begins. Look! I'm pouring poison in the king's ear while he sleeps! That's it, I'm out of here! The trap is sprung, and Hamlet, now convinced of Claudius' guilt, can be confident in his mission to avenge his father's death. Oh, heart, lose not thy nature! God, I'm asking for forgiveness, so you gotta let me into heaven! Those are the rules! I didn't make them up! <sighs> I can't send my greatest enemy to heaven! Fudge! Hamlet's impotence and murder all too easily turns into rage against his mother in her bedroom. Stop hooking up with that guy! <gasps> Don't kill her! Ah! Bummer! I thought you were my uncle! Avenge me! I'm getting to it, okay? Who are you talking to? When Claudius hears of Polonius' murder, he realizes that he could have been stabbed behind that curtain. Bring that crazy kid to me! But it's getting harder to tell if Hamlet's acting crazy or he is crazy. You low-life spongy parasites! <laughs> We can't jail Hamlet because his adoring subjects would riot. So I'm banishing him to England. And if I kill him, it'll just raise suspicions about how his dad died. So I'll get the king of England to kill him. <laughs> On the way to England, Hamlet sees Fortinbras leading his army to avenge his father's death by taking back land in Poland. And his own resolve grows strong. I must act. If Norwegians can do it, I can do it. And I will avenge my father at last. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ophelia has gone insane, perhaps because of how badly Hamlet's been treating her, and Laertes wants to avenge the death of his father. Not yet. On his way to England, Hamlet's ship is boarded by pirates who treat him well and return him to Denmark, where he's now determined to take action. I have much news to share! Claudius arranges for a friendly sword fight between Hamlet and Laertes, whose unblunted sword will have poison on the tip. 
Just to be safe, we'll put poison in his wine, too. Ophelia's dead. She drowned herself. But Hamlet didn't know that when he contemplated death while holding the skull of an old friend. Alas, poor Yorick. He was a funny guy. Ophelia? This wasn't supposed to happen. I loved her. I loved her more. Oh. Ah. Having already enacted a plan that will end in Rosencrantz and Guildenstern's death in England, Hamlet receives Laertes' sword fight invitation. I'm ready. And now it's time for the showdown. Hamlet versus Laertes, both looking to avenge their father's deaths, and it's on. <laughs> That's one for Hamlet. <laughs> Two in a row, and it looks like Gertrude is pretty confident in her son winning, so she's offering him some wine. Which, of course, is poison. But they don't know, so he says, no thanks, lady, and Gertrude drinks the poison herself. <laughs> What's this? Laertes has cut through <laughs> Hamlet's fencing gear, and they switch swords. And the queen goes down. We got a dead queen! Lock the doors! Oh, um, I put poison in your wine cup and on my sword, so we're both gonna die. Mm. Now it looks like Hamlet's finally mustered the resolve to avenge his father. <laughs> Thou incestuous, murderous, damn Dane! Drink off this potion! <laughs> Is that union here? Follow <laughs> my father! <sighs> oh! I forgive you. Ditto! And with forgiveness, they're free to go to heaven! The crowd shall pass the fort and rest. The rest is silence. If he would have lived to be king, he would have truly been royal. So he finally took action, didn't he? Yep! Because though fate may ultimately win, a man must fight to the death if necessary in order to remain the master of his own choices. For Cliff's Notes, I'm Cliff. And I'm Yorick Skull saying, what a play in the play's the thing. <laughs> All right. <laughs>